Hi friends, this is Bilal Hader and in this video I'll be talking about the time function. And later on I'll show you how you can use this time function in your expert advisors. But um, let me first tell you about how you can use time function in your expert advisors. As um, we have seen in previous videos that um, you can make certain expert advisors based on indicators. For example, we have seen um, um, making an expert advisor using parabolic SAR and several other indicators like um, accelerator oscillator and Bollinger bands and commodity channel index and so on but how you can use the time for your trading for example if someone wishes to place one single trade on each day at the fourth candle the fourth candle from the day opening he wishes to place one trade each day for example he wants to place a trade at this candle and at this candle and and so on mm, how you can do that you can do that by using time okay so in this video I'll be discussing about the time function so let's start so mt4 provides you with some functions which return you the time these two functions I have written here they will return you the time this function will return you the time of the server the current time of the server okay whatever the current time of the server this function will return that and this time um, current function can be stored in a variable of variable type of date time as we have seen previously that we were using in double float so there is another kind of data type that is called the date time data type and that stores the time um, the time in some variable which is uh, of this data type okay so this function will return the um, time of the current uh, of the server and the current time of the server and this time will be the total number of seconds lapsed from January 1st 1970 so it will return the total number of total number of seconds from January January 1st 1970 to now okay the total number of seconds from January 1st up till now this um, this uh, time current function will return that okay and this function I have written here it returns the local time of your PC and it also um, returns the number of seconds from January 1st 1970 to now okay so here you can see that the date is 10 17 2013 <coughs> sorry 2013 and the time is 1241 okay so this function will calculate the number of seconds from January 1st 1970 up till now and it will return that number of seconds to us okay so <coughs> the next variable I'm uh, going to tell you about is the time itself and this function is very important because this function will return you the time at particular candle okay so I have written zero in here it will return me the time 
of this candle okay so here it is um, 16 10 20 13 22 okay so this will return me this particular time and it will calculate the number of seconds from January 1st up till um, this date and time and it will return me that okay so if I I wanted to use I wanted to know the time of this particular candle right here 01 sorry um, here it will return me the time it will calculate the number of seconds from January 1st to this candle and it will return me that number of seconds okay so let's alert this uh, variable and see what we get here you can see this is the total number of seconds la lapsed or lapsed whatever um, from January 1st up till this day okay so now what if we want to know the <coughs> the number of har like what what we have to do to know whether um, at this candle what was the um, time in har like we want to return 4 okay because here it's 4 4 hours and 0 minutes we want to know um, we want to extract the information of this 4 um, like here we want to exa extract the information 22 okay so let's do something with this function and let's see what we can do so this MQL4 program also um, provides some function which help us to um, extract the number of hours from this particular um, this particular time and we can also uh, extract the minutes and seconds okay so let's see um, now what we get from this variable here you get 22 so by using this this function the time this variable sorry this variable with this function time r we get um, the hard time at a particular candle okay so now if we wish to know the time at this particular candle which is at 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 we'll write 6 in here and let's see what we get we get 16 which is indeed the correct uh, the correct time at this candle here it's it's 16 so what if we want to know the minutes at this particular candle here it says 0 which is indeed correct okay so by using this function this time function this time variable with this time functions which are three type of uh, three types of uh, time functions like time horror um, time minute and time seconds these are all time current time local I think these are all the functions in the time variable which can be used 
um, uh, to make an expert advisor that will be based on the time and not on the indicators okay we'll see in the next video about how you can use these functions or some of these functions to trade based on time okay so i think this is very important video for you because um, the time is always important and in forex uh, it's very important because uh, there are there are times when market is volatile like for example uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 uh, 6 after the sixth candle the market becomes very volatile like here you can see uh, it moved down uh, about um, 90 pips and also here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 after ninth candle it go it went it rises um, it rises about um, 50 pips so after the ninth candle the market becomes very vol volatile so you need to do something uh, you need to um, actually use the time function for your expert uh, for you to create an expert advisor that will trade only after the ninth candle or the eighth candle whatever okay so if we can make a strategy um, like put some pending orders uh, at ninth at ninth candle like above 10 pips uh, the buy stop and below 10 pips the sell stop um, it will definitely hit the sell or buy stop after the ninth candle and it will definitely earn you some profits so in next video um, I'll be uh, making an expert advisor for you based on this uh, these time functions so thank you for watching my video see you in see you next time